Hey, here's Joe again and welcome back to Neo Complete Edition where we are in the second DLC, Defiant Honor. In the second mission, the Scion of Virtue and have just returned to the caves after exploring the courtyard for a while. And have bested like, I assume like four or five of the Sanada's ten braves and have found four out of six of the... That's weird. Weird sounds. That way. I assume that's an NPC. Uh, we found four of six Kodama on this map. That's what I was beginning to say. Good. Still easy, these guys. How did you die? Warrior, okay. I have not seen any warriors, but I assume we will soon. Is that an arrow in your, inside your head? No, that's uh, the flag doing weird stuff, okay. We are almost out of arrows. What the fuck? That's one of Sanada's ten braves. Great. Holy shit. Good. Shit. Soon we get something for at least an achievement, if not more, for defeating all of them. But that was a, a bad call to go for that one first. Fortress keychain, oh, this. I mean, the fortress keychain itself was. Uh, <laughs> This was optional. I assume that's one of Sonata's guys. No. Bullshit. That should have hit. The foreign woman did that to her. Ah, yeah, she just arrived. Yes, of course. <clears throat> Only from the back. Ah, you. Ah, uh, no. Of course, it's a ranged guy. You aim that way. Um. That wasn't the way you were aiming a second ago. I should leave these subtitles on screen. Samurai locks. We need 12 at the moment per thing. This one. Fortress keychain. Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, Shingiko medicine, the stuff that I'll never use. I promise you for the third DLC I will put them on my shortcut list. My shortcut item list. That's a room full of goo. Okay. That's weird. Wall. Those megas don't care. What what behavior? Hostile. Okay. Found this. Do we have every one? Yes, cleanliness is next to godliness achievement. We have every every hot spring in the DSC. And it was a developer placed thing. Why was that developer placed? There was no need for that. It's okay now. One of them I can fight. What the fuck? I attacked him before he went into his vulnerable state. And then he attacked me before I could do anything. Great. And half the items clipped into the nothingness. Yes, Tornfa. Okay. Okay, that's the way to continue. This is side content because it technically uh, needed me to fight a guy that's optional, I think. Rokurokubi. That could still be the guy that was on the ground here. Not the guy that's spawning there. Yeah, that's an Amahage. Are you kidding me? He didn't even drop anything good. Yes, I can skip that one room now. But I mean yeah, it's 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 shortcut. It's a cute shortcut though. Again. Hmm. Oh yes, we saw that. From above. Okay. I want to go up there. We killed that guy already once from the other side, but then we got a shortcut back to the shrine. By the time this area down here was deloaded and it looked like a hot, uh, hot spring, basically. Oh, yes, that's a shortcut ladder. Of course it would be. Come on, aim better. Good. Aim better. Good. There's also a standing guy there. We see his shadow. Oh, he's sitting, not standing. Uh, last arrow. This guy or the patrolling guy? Patrolling guy. Patrolling guy is harder to hit though. Fuck you. That's one of Sonata's 10 Braves. You fucker, why do I have to get stuck on that? I need to defeat you before the other guy aggroes. Uh, comes into fighting range. 
At least you can't aim. You fucker. You. Aggro. Tonfa. Brave. His cannons, huh? What the fuck is that skill? Should invest in the Tonfa skill tree, apparently. Bullshit. Yeah, of course. Ever since I saw that in a random video on the internet, I was waiting for an enemy to have that mega bomb. Stamina, man. Idiot. Good. We need more arrows. I don't see anyone else who could aggro. How did that second hit him miss? It went through his body. Death by explosion, yeah. yeah. Arrows, please. Arrows, please. Arrows, please. Shortcut ladder. Why didn't I open the shortcut gate? The lower one. Arrows, please. Arrowproof amulet. Almost arrows. These two shortcuts I wanted to unlock. <coughs> I have no idea why I'm such a completionist about useless shortcuts, but I want them. Okay. The other upper way. Guys just standing around ready for the harvest are mostly snake guys, but sometimes not. That's my end boss. What was that? Why? Uh, just a useless achievement that in a... Okay, one of Sanada's braves. That's where we're supposed to go, so there is still level behind that. I'll definitely abort fighting the boss should I not be done with all the Kodamas before reaching that. Yeah, there will, must be at least one there. I did see one item from below over there. I need to check. I'll skip you. That's it. <laughs> I don't need to skip you. It wasn't the last Kodama. How? Did it not? It did save me changing the things. Doesn't seem like he has friends. Oh god. Oh, that's just... Please be the last, give me an achievement. He didn't. Hmm? 
Okay, we still have some time, tiny amount of map to go. Uh, not enough to level up yet. Let's go through here because there's still a tiny amount of map before what I assume is the boss fight. Yeah, we get a shortcut gate after this. Oh, we might get a wave fight here. Please don't tell me that we have to fight every single of the Sonata Braves that we defeated. Like the other way that you're supposed to think. Okay, that's Ishida Mitsunari there. And the last Kodama, okay. Wanna get rid of the extra guy. <sighs> what about that one? Good. Use power pills. That's not fair. Let's use this one then. And this one. And this one. And this one. Will of the Sonata achievement. We have them, all of them. We got all of Sonata's ten braves. Also go back to the bow that we used to so that we never have to worry about not knowing what is equipped. I expect a heavily difficult boss fight due to the very convenient way to it. <laughs> like the, the way to it is so overly convenient for this game's like for how this game normally makes them unconvenient. The battlefield guide, we have all Kodamas, uh, don't need that, can exchange for any luck one that's bigger than 19, which there isn't anyone. I'm normally going for treasure. There's no need to do that, because there's no more level left. Good. Go back to the shrine, level up, so that we don't lose Amrita in the boss fight, if it's a fast one. <clears throat> Let's do a point of heart. Oh, that's not the way to go. <laughs> Way to go is here. I'm gonna rush it now, so I'm gonna take this guy. Like this. I mean, we could farm this guy and that guy for another level if we want to, but I don't think they offer enough dropped stuff. Good. Okay, oh. There could be one way fight before the fight. Let's see. Nope. Sasuke was she Okay, 
Maria's around here somewhere. Maria, don't know you are all hikitori negata. Sinzuru monoga chinga modena. Was you are Seking a haranich touch chin in Naroi. Mizukara no kio tsrank. <laughs> Two. Oh, fire horse. The other one reminds me of my own. Okay, he starts with fire, which is total bullshit. Sanada Yukimura. Uh, I was not prepared for the fight for whatever reason. So we need to buff in the fight, that's also fine. Can do that. And that. Okay, yeah, should have expected that by a draw animation of the thing. Was fight, as I said, Scion of Virtue's armor. Okay, we know how his uh, <laughs> armor set is called. He is the Scion of your Virtue, and that's a really good name for him. There's no need to kill him. I wanted the other one. Shuri Shikyo no Mono to Yobare Nagara. Shinzuru Kyo Tsuranuita Chichi. Masa Yukiwa. Kudo Yamade Hateta. Washiwa Toyotomi no Gio Nastame ni Osaka e Maitama. Ano Katawa. Kawate Shimaware Tano Taroka. Ya. わしも父のように自ら信ずる気を貫くのみ。真田の旗印は六門線。三途の川を渡る心づもりはできておる。この首。I don't want your head. Tell me where Maria is. Where's Maria? You just can't keep away from me, can you? Ano jo, ana ta to chigatte, ana shi no wakaru hito datta wa. Ano kata ni atta no ka. Anzo and uh, that guy, the ninja battle. <laughs> Who called for peace? I can't really tell. Kotabi was shikiri no shija. 
エスパーニャの女が集める霊石の力あればそなたの初陣必ずや勝とう And that kind of delusion comes from smoking opium. No, he d a y o r i e n k u The flaming horse is called e n k u As、I would have said Pegasus, but yeah, Enku. Gesture of reconciliation, says the achievement. Frame dropped, then went up again, s o map. Yeah. The battle is over, but Maria's whereabouts remain unknown. At least peace has been restored, for now. Blood stained blade scraps. Nikawa glue vermilion spear. I assume that's. I have no idea. Blood stained blade scraps. Gonna look that up too, what that is. We have no more new main missions. That was the main missions of the Siege of Osaka in the winter. We'll return in the summer for her, apparently. Okay, Crimsonville and the Sparrow Flies again are the missions that we're gonna do in the next episode. For now, let's read lore. Sanada Yukimura, son of Sanada Masayuki, and the son in law of Otani Yoshitsugu, who died at Sekigahara, was a brilliant strategist. Out of a sense of duty to Overlord Hideyoshi, he came out of exile and headed to Osaka Castle, where he matched his father, Masayuki. In terms of leadership and strategy, by designing the Sanado Maru. Though he was Toyotomi Hideyori's vessel and main protector, his sense of justice and morality would be tested on the battlefields of Osaka. I like that guy. Really. William headed towards Osaka Castle along with the Darty army to face Sanada Yukimura. After fighting his way through the bizarre battlefield all the way to the Sanada, the Sanada Maru and defeating Yokimura, he was unable to stop Maria, the battle's mastermind, from once again making her escape. As a horror guy shell rang out to signal an end to the battle, William vowed to put a stop to Maria once and for all in the third DLC. Hanzo set out for Osaka together with William in order to face the Toyotomi forces. Along the way, they encountered Sanada Yukimura's ninja, Sur Sarutobi Sasuku, who engaged Hanzo in fierce battle under the orders from his master. Eventually, Hanzo gained the upper hand, but the sound from a h o r a g a i shell indicated a truce between the Tokagawa and the Toyotomi, allowing Sasuke to escape. Although relieved that the fighting had ended, Hanzo knew that the day would come when he would have to face Sasuke again. Masamune agreed to the Tokugawa's clan's request and led Katakura Shigenaga and a group of officers on the march towards Osaka. There, the Tokugawa vanguard found itself up against the fortress known as the Sanada Maru, which had been built by Sanada Yukimura. Masamune resolutely fought his way across the battlefield in an effort to rally his greatly outnumbered troops. Having once experienced the power of the spirit stones himself, Masamune realized the secret behind the Sanada Maru's strength was the spirit stone secretly provided by Maria. I'm not certain they actually used them. Shigenada took over for his bedridden father Kagetsuna and marched on Osaka and Adate Masamune. Desperate to make a name for himself, he launched an assault against the Sanada Maru but was repelled by a fierce counter attack from Sanada Yokimura. However, Shigenaga urged William to use the English made culverins and was able to turn the tide of battle. Yes. Upon returning home, he triumph triumphantly reported his accompl accomplishments to his father, who reprimanded him for scaling stone walls and crossing blades with enemy soldiers as actions that were reckless and unbefitting an officer. But it's good for the troop morale. That's the other side of it always. 
With the Dartis Rubei and thwarted by William, Maria made her way to the Toyotomi clan in Osaka, the site of an even bigger battle to come. Once there, Maria recommended Sanada Yukimura to use the power of the Spirit Stones in order to prepare for a confrontation with the Tokugawa, but Yukimura refused to resort to such trickery. After fierce battle against the Tokugawa forces, peace was eventually made between the two parties. Maria reappeared before William and the others and told them of her meeting with Yorogimi, the one truly in control of the Toyotomi clan, before disappearing once more. It seemed the chaos of war showed no signs of abating. After infiltrating Osaka Kase, Yukimura was told numerous times by Maria to utilize the power of the Spirit Stones. However, he refused, stating there was no honor in a battle fought by such means. He constructed a fortress known as the Sanada Maru and raised the flag bearing his clan's crest high above it. Leading a lead group of warriors, he fought a heated battle against a much larger Tokugawa army. Surrounded on three sides by an ocean and rivers, Osaka's uh, castle's weak point was its relatively undefended southern side. In order to shore up this weakness, Yukimura constructed this fortress to make the castle nearly impregnable. Osaka Kase and the Sanada Maru were secretly linked together, which made it difficult for the Tokugawa forces to even approach the castle walls. As a result, the efforts of Yukimura and his band of Ronin left the Tokugawa with little other choice than to sue for peace. During the battle, Yukimura suffered a life-threatening injury, but was saved by Yano Mecho, the guardian spirit of his father-in-law, Otani Yoshitsugo, which he subsequently inherited. Didn't we fight Otani Yoshitsugo? Yano Mecho wasn't his guardian spirit. Now I'm confused. I'm confused again. Out of loyalty to Yukimura, Sasuke utilized the utmost secrecy when working together with Maria to harness the power of the spirit stones. Okay, so they did that. But he... Yeah, he, yeah we found their, their rooms where they're trying all that stuff out, yeah. However, since it went against the will of the master, he, who had no desire to use the spirit stones for such a purpose, Sasuke remained silent about his actions. He descended into the underground passageways, which had been expanded to become a vast communications network, and used his ninjutsu skills under the cover of darkness to impede William's progress. As the battle intensified, he and Hanzo, Hataori Hanzo engaged in a spectacular struggle across the shadows. Each ninja clan featured its own unique branches and precepts, often resulting in rival clans becoming mortal enemies. Sasuke had taken the best aspects of many different clans to create his own unique style, but when faced with the leader of the eager clan Hanzo, he was unable to let down his guard for an instant. Enku. Are those wings? I'm not certain. That are, those are definitely horns, though. The Enku is a divine beast representing virtue, a type of chimera. It is a dual horned guardian spirit with four powerful legs and whose body is imbued with fire. As a veritable king among beasts, Kirin despise mindless killing and their benevolent nature means they even try to avoid treading on insects and flowers. However, they are willing to unleash their incredible strength to rescue a friend in danger. In Japanese, a child prodigy known as a is known as a Kirin G. A Chimera G. Okay. Interesting. Nullify damage dash attacks. Temporarily nullifies damage you receive when an enemy hits you with a dash attack. So whenever they do their charge dash attack, I don't get damage? That's really good. Dash speed for faster dodges. Or is that a running attack, not a dash attack? Increases the damage you can deal according to the number of status aimants you afflicted in thrust damage up and close combat attack up when enemy is attacking. Okay. All of those are quite okay, but not great. And we can't use them because like... How, how much spirit do, do we need now? 33? Yeah, he is the highest one so far. 33! Spirit, we have 15. 
And we are way off from leveling up again. Righteous in the, ri in the eyes of heaven. The great Shidiro Jumanji Spear and the Sign of Virtuous Armor, which is a medium armor set. Everlasting Key 50%, Close Combat Damage, Toughness, Thrust Damage. And Attack Damage Surge whenever. Bonus after Dash Attack. They get an Attack Damage Surge after Dash Attack. Not bad, Thrust Damage, it's like Spear Focused, very Spear Focused. Toughness is not bad, Close Combat Damage is not bad, Everlasting Key. Thankfully, that didn't come into play. I did grapple him. <clears throat> okay, that's it for the day. Tomorrow we'll be going for the Crimson Will and the Sparrow Flies again. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow.